Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Christian's Crosses for Thursday, December 28th, 2023, the Feast of the Holy Innocents. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying. Grant, we pray, that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 2 verses 13 through 18. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection I can only imagine how scary it must have been for Joseph to receive a dream that urged him to escape to Egypt in order to keep his newborn adopted child safe. Joseph was a man of great faith, and that faith guided and protected his family for the rest of his life. In 1870, Pope Pius IX declared St. Joseph the patron of the Universal Church, and that was during a time of great challenge and difficulty in our church. The Pope entrusted the needs of the Catholic Church to the patronage, care, and protection of St. Joseph. And this idea of St. Joseph bestowed with that protection of the Church reflects the role that he played as head of the Holy Family and how he was charged with the protection of the Holy Family, especially Jesus. As a father, I like the connection that we can easily make with the Church as the body of Christ entrusted to St. Joseph's care just as he cared for Jesus. I can picture St. Joseph taking care of the baby Jesus, taking him into his arms, feeding him, watching over him, and protecting him. There were probably many times when Jesus as a child would fall or get hurt, just as all children do, and St. Joseph would pick him up and console him, hug him, and take care of whatever he was in need of at that time. That little boy needed the protection and care of a loving father. And in so many ways, just as St. Joseph was protecting Jesus, He was also protecting the body of Christ, the church. That's why it's so appropriate that the body of Christ has been entrusted to the care of St. Joseph to be defended, protected, and cared for by this great and loving saint. So as we reflect on the immense courage and love of St. Joseph, let's recall the times in our life when we could have demonstrated perhaps a little more love and concern for someone who needed our help. Perhaps during this Christmas season, There's someone in your life who needs a little visit or some extra time this year. Let's share the love of St. Joseph and protect and care for those in our life who need us. And so today, let's pray for the intercession of St. Joseph to care for and protect our church and all who come through our doors in need of our care and protection.
We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.